Nearly two weeks after American actor and designer Waris Aluwalia was banned from a flight because he wouldn't remove his turban, comedian and YouTuber Jasmeet Singh, also known as Just Rain on YouTube, detailed his experience with the TSA traveling as a uh, Sikh man. Now, Singh took to Twitter to describe how the security instructed him to remove his turban in a private room, and he says... After finding absolutely nothing wrong because a turban is just cloth and the whole thing is stupid, I ask for a mirror to tie it back again. The agent tells me there are no mirrors and that I can just walk down the terminal to the nearest restroom without my turban wrong. Now, if you guys don't understand why this would be an issue for members of the Sikh community, according to the Sikh coalition, it's mandatory for followers of Sikhism to wear a turban in public as it's a symbol of love and obedience to the wishes of the founders of their faith. And so this is unfortunate because obviously the coverage of War Suwalia, uh, I think, was, was very broad. And it's mm -hmm. I, ho I was hoping that that case would sort of educate people uh, about you know uh, uh, the Sikh community and that the people wouldn't sort of racially profile people like this, but unfortunately, uh, it's still very prevalent. So here's the biggest issue here, and obviously it's not a surprise. It's fucking racism, mm -hmm. okay? Like, because this guy even accepts the fact that he's racially profiled. He says himself, "I understand the protocol. I'm there." Like, I'm comfortable with the situation. Right. It's, it's, it's shitty. It's inconveniencing. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to do it anyway. Right. The problem when this becomes racism is after you have assessed that he is no longer a security threat, you still continue to inconvenience this person and shit on his fucking religious beliefs. You can't do that. At that point, once you've identified that he is no longer a threat, you should be doing anything in your mm -hmm. power to possibly be like, I'm really sorry, here you go. Like, you have an iPhone. You have an iPhone yeah. and a camera. You have an Android. Every phone is a fucking camera. Mm -hmm. Put up the camera and put it up to his face and help him as much as you can. Find a fucking mirror and help this man put his uh, put his turban back on. Yeah. Completely. Like, this I, is ridiculous. I agree with Hassan. I think it's incredibly disrespectful. Mm -hmm. And I think it's likely that the TSA agents he was dealing with probably had no idea just how disrespectful it was. Um, and I think that this is... What we can take from this is that there needs to be more education. Mm -hmm. This is a guy who, I mean, he he had like a sense of humor about the whole thing. Yeah. I would have been so pissed. Right. I know. You know, and he was like you said, he's following protocol. He's go he's complying with everything that they're asking for. The least they can do is have the education to know that asking him to take his turban off is, I mean, is true is truly just a, a stepping too far. Yeah. And, yeah. Here's why this and that is they not... need to do whatever they can and, to make yeah. it up for him to make up for how like disrespectful he, they were. No, completely. And like he mentioned in his tweets, like, it's cloth. Like, you're allowed to wear clothing <laughs> and, through the x-ray. And so I don't understand why they didn't understand. Like, they, what do they think this is made mm -hmm. out of? Here's, here's, that it's somehow hiding yeah. something and some yeah. sort of security threat. Like, it's just such... It's not a fashion such, statement either. It's so it's ignorant not for him is what just, it is. It's extremely it, it's ignorant. Not even, it's not even an uneducated guess here, though. It's not ignorance in that sense. And the reason why I say it's racism is because you take him to a private room. What does that mean? That means they understand that he needs to be in private when he takes off his turban. So, or to be searched, or or no, but like he, this is a search about his turban, though. This is not that he's not being mm -hmm. like you know he's not. They're not taking off his clothes. They're taking off his turban. So that that alone shows me that they understand that you know he needs his privacy mm -hmm. because of his religious beliefs or one reason or the other. Or reasonably, then, they would maybe want to do it out of sight of other people getting on you know in this in the line at security. Regardless, if you're maintaining that privacy, why can't you why can't you do that for when he wants to put? His I don't know if it was on? about the mm -hmm. turban. I know I have uh, uh, friends who have been racially profiled in similar ways, and they've been pulled aside to be more thoroughly searched. I don't know what his sort of uh, you know situation entailed. Uh, but yeah, I, look, I, I've traveled a lot. I've never been pulled into a private room. Mm -hmm. And I think that, I mean, like, I don't, none of my family members have. Do you know what, like, have you ever been pulled into a private room? I, w I have never been pulled over into a private room, but I did one time get searched at a London airport. Mm. My tampons were searched in public. And it was super funny to me. I thought yeah. it was really entertaining. I was like, you want to, like, just check out all these... Tampa, one of the, hey, just check out all of them. You never know. I mean, but that's the sort of thing. Uh, would I have preferred to be in private? I, I don't know. But it wasn't a religious thing. It's just, it's, it's, not, it's weird yeah. who they decide to, like, take aside 
and who they don't. And you're right, Hassan, it's racist. It is racist. That's and that was that line. was my point is like I walk through, you know, the x-rays with my shoes on. I'm like, "Oh, sorry, I just forgot." And it was like, "Okay, fine." Really? Yeah. yeah. I'm a Muslim and I have a beard, but because I look white, uh, because I'm Turkish, I never get racially profiled either. You've never That's been just, taken aside at an airport. No, absolutely not. I'm an American citizen who's who looks white. I also think, I mean, in the case of Waris and in and, and Singh's case, a lot of the way that the media is covering is like, oh, he's an American actor and designer, and oh, this guy has, you know, 600,000, you know, YouTube followers. Mm -hmm. I'm like, do you know how many people this probably happens to on an that we hourly don't hear basis, about. on a daily basis that we don't hear about? But these, these are the people that we're drawing attention to because they're, you know, in the, in the limelight. But I, it is clearly it's a, a pervasive bigger, issue. bigger issue, mm -hmm. yeah.